How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Quiet and today I'm be showing you guys the best possible settings for Fortnite Nintendo Switch 2024. Let's go into the video right now. Let's get into it. So here, these are my brightness settings, the graphic settings. I have it at 150% because you know you're able to see the storm better and like darker places better. Uh use interface contrast. This is not a good setting to use. Like look at it. Look at it. And then look in game like it's not bad because my my thing is like dark my actual map but like in game it makes all the vibrant colors really dark so it's really hard to see anything really uh so i recommend that you have it all the way at the lowest possible setting which is one times or one x whatever colorblind mode make sure you have it off because sometimes if you have it on like it just doesn't look nice and also on top of that you're not you're not able to see storm uh as clearly as if you were to remove it uh, color by mode strength that doesn't matter because I have it off show FPS on power saving mode Make sure you have this off because if you have it on then it'll make your Nintendo switch weaker Because if you have it on it's basically trying to restrict all of the Nintendo switches settings So then you're able to run the game like While preserving battery and uh, You don't really need to preserve any battery while you're playing with it docked So like, you know, I recommend for you to have this off uh, report performance stats. I have this disabled because I don't really care about the volume settings. Uh, these are my volume settings. You guys don't need to copy this, but uh, you guys should copy this. Visualize sound effects. I have it on, so then you're able to see if there are footsteps around you or like where people are shooting from. Uh, voice chat. I have it. Everybody, you don't really need to copy these either. Uh, language and region. I have it at NA West because I'm from Asia, and I have it my language as English United States because I'm Japanese uh, toggle sprint I have this on auto open doors is on is nice convenience to have metal activation have these at hold and press uh, hold to swap pickup this is also a nice convenient setting that you guys should have too. Um, toggle targeting I like to like you know have this off whatever preferred item sauce you guys were asking for this so I'm gonna show you guys this is what I have assault rifle shotgun here, sometimes I have an SMG, or I have a sniper, it doesn't matter, or sometimes in arena, or on ranked mode, whatever whatever it's called, uh, I'd like to have an extra heal, or like, transportation thing, like, uh, shockwaves, or some, something like that. Anyways, reset building choice, I have it on, disable pre-edit option, off. Because if you have it on, then you're going to have higher input delay, and you don't want that, you want your edits to like edit properly and your builds to build properly auto confirm edits make sure you have it to both if you have it on just edit or just reset no, 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 no. make it both but still use the confirm button basically what this does is that it auto confirms your edits so um basically like you reset much better um you're able to do like edits faster yeah, it's just a better setting to have, so I recommend that you have this on. Like, look how nice that looks. Crisp. Crisp. Like, impeccable, bro. Like, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. So make sure you have it on. Uh, take my word for it, because, you know, uh, I could edit, like, well, kind of. Nah, I kind of suck. Anyways, contextual tips, I have this off. In for view, uh, that's kind of useless. Replace. Don't matter about that. Doesn't matter. Don't care about that, man. Uh here um you guys can copy these settings if you guys want i'll just play for you guys this is my hud scale by the way i have it at 80 like in game but some videos i have it at 125 percent so then people could see that i'm on 30 fps but i think 80 percent is good uh also when you have your hud scale make sure to remove these one two three four five six these six settings make sure you have them off because if you have them on then it's just gonna clutter the screen and like you want to see like as much as the game as possible and only have the necessary uh, UIs or whatever you call it. Gyro aiming, this is what I use. Uh, I use gyro because I I'm weird like that. Basically what gyro does is it makes your controller move, it moves your controller around. Keep in mind, if you have a wired controller, then you're ar you aren't able to have gyro or, uh, or at least I, I don't think a uh, wired controller has gyro but yeah there's that and then yeah it, it's nice because you're able to move like a keyboard and mouse player you have like more freedom of movement and what you're trying to do compared to using a stick using a stick 
I don't know. I, I just think it's much harder to do builds and stuff on stick. Anyways. Well, enough with that. I'm kind of rusty right now. My bad. Uh, I haven't played in a while. Sensitivity, I have it at 1.9. 101 vertical and horizontal ratio, steadying 0.0, .0. legacy, acceleration. Yeah, people say acceleration is bad, but I like to have it at legacy because legacy is how motion controls used to be back in the day in like 2019. That was like OG gyro. Uh, flick stick off. I don't think anyone actually uses that setting, and I have advanced gyro options off. I just like to keep it simple and not overcomplicate it, so I just have it at 1.9% all the way with all my aiming sensitivities anyways my controller settings here you go controller auto run i have this on build immediately build a pro have this on uh these are my edit hold times i don't even have an edit hold time to be honest vibration make sure you have this off because if you have it on then it's going to waste your controller battery because it's just going to be vibrating every single time it's going to work harder just to vibrate every single time you make a build so do not have this on make sure you have it off uh this stuff to be honest i don't even know what this is i'll be honest with you guys uh sensitivity these are really good sensitivities for stick players uh it's really helpful so you guys should probably copy these settings 1.3 1.2 and then have advanced options on to unlock all these other options. 43%, 43%, 14%, 14%. And I have no instant boost. Uh, 12%, 12%, 2%, 2%. And then have the boost at 0. And then you can have it at linear. You can have it at exponential. I'll probably keep it at exponential to be honest. 100% uh, aim assist strength. Even though if you play with gyro, then you don't get any aim assist. Keep in mind with that, by the way. Um... My dead zone, I have it at 40% on my left stick. Since I use a pro controller, I have 5% the lowest possible dead zone because it's kind of hard to have drift on a pro controller. I did on my last controller, but uh, I recently just like uh, threw that away. So yeah, there's that. Accelerate with thumbstick on. And here the controller mapping binds. By the way, there's some people who were having troubles with this uh, in my DMs on Instagram. Make sure you have this set to custom before you're able to do any of the binds that I'm going to do. Anyways, these are my binds. I'm just going to scroll through it. So then you guys could look. Blah, blah, blah. Switch mode slash edit. I have two switch mode buttons slash edit buttons, whatever. Because it reduces your input delay. And then... See, I have two edit buttons. That's what I meant. Two edit buttons. Emo, that doesn't matter. Miscellaneous, uh, writing, gyro. LTM abilities. Yeah, that's it for controller mapping. Uh, and then there's these settings. You guys don't really need these settings, but you guys can copy these settings if you guys want these copies. Or you. Last one, you guys don't really need this, but you guys could copy these settings if you guys want. Uh, anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.